President, we're just 98 days until the presidential election. The nephew of the Republican candidate is breaking his long silence in a new memoir, All in the Family, The Trumps and How We Got This Way. Please welcome Fred Trump. <coughs> Welcome to the show. Thank nice you. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Um, there have been countless books written about your uncle all over the place. I mean, even your sister Mary, who's your younger sister, younger sister. she came here to talk about her tell-all book back in 2020. Now, you have stated st that, and you have stayed quiet. You have not opened up about this at all until right. this book came out. Right. So what made you decide to come out about, about it now? Well, first of all, it's my story. Right. Uh, told... In a way, I'm, I'm really the only one that was with Donald during his formative years, through his business career, and mm. through his time oh, in the Mary White House. Was no, no, I mean, I, I was close with Donald. He was the first guy who put a golf club in my hand. Mm. I see. Um, but all in the family was really to honor my father, Freddie, Donald's older brother, mm -hmm. uh, who was a caring, charismatic guy. And my son, William. Uh, a, a child with complex disabilities who is the most courageous and inspirational person I have ever met. Mm -hmm. And he opened the door for me to advocate on behalf of people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Mm -hmm. um, to tell their story, I needed to tell the story of the Trump family. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, complex, sometimes cruel. You know, every family... Yeah. It's complicated. Every family yeah. has their crazy uncle at the Thanksgiving table. <laughs> Donald's atomic crazy. Yeah. Um, and I've seen it firsthand how he's evolved from crazy to atomic crazy. Yeah. Wow. Um, and I, I was thinking recently, I wish I had come out earlier with this book because the outpouring of people saying what we are doing mm -hmm. to help the disabled. Yeah has been overwhelming. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So I, I wish I had done that instead of... What, what we did was important, but... Well, you did it. When it was yeah. the right time, you, you got there. Yeah. But um, your late father, Fred Trump Jr., was the eldest of Donald Trump's siblings. He yeah. passed away in his early 40s due yes. to complications from alcoholism. Since this is the first time Americans are really hearing from you, you know, you mentioned that your uncle was the first one to put a golf club in your head. How close were you? Oh, it was very with, close. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he, he was my trustee when my father passed away. Mm -hmm. um, that didn't work out so well. But, uh, right. Well, you can't trust him, that's why. Well, right, he took your inheritance. See what I did? I let you in on it. You did. Um, <laughs> but no, we were close. Uh, whenever I would call him, even when he was in, in the Oval Office, he would answer. He'd, he'd leave me messages with, uh, for my, me and my family on New Year's Eve. You know, yeah. hi, this is your favorite president calling, wishing all... So we were, we were close. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you call yourself a different kind of Trump, which sounds a little more like maybe your dad. Oh, I'm, I'm definitely like my father. There, there's no doubt. Uh, the good and the bad. Mm -hmm. uh, dad, again, was a very caring guy who mm -hmm. unfortunately wanted to live a dream and was crushed by his father, my grandfather, mm -hmm. with Donald piling on. And uh, that, was, that was tragic because dad... If Dad saw what I was trying to do now, he would have been the biggest fan of it. Yeah. And he would have been out there. But Gramps wouldn't have been. No. no. Well, no. and I want to kind of ask about that. You spent a lot of time in. I believe in policy over politics. Yeah. And without question, Kamala Harris's policies are what I get behind. So I will be voting for Kamala Harris. <laughs> and if I'm asked, I will campaign for her without hesitation. Good. Talking about President Donald Trump, huh? we all know the brother, the brother's son, the lead brother who died. They say he died in his 40s. President Donald Trump always talk about that his brother, he died as an alcoholic. Even him himself, he never took alcohol and he will never take alcohol. He's not on drug. That's the main. He always say, I'm not a drug, I always take alcohol. That alcohol killed my brother. That shook me, so I ran away from alcohol. Because the way he used to be, if people used to think that maybe he's on one type of drug that is making him <laughs> to be behaving the way he's being, but he always come loudly and would tell the world that he has never taken alcohol. He has never taken no drug. He's not of any drugs. So he's good to go. 
So this is brother. I have two children, Mary and Fred. Mary came out 2020 and gave her, wrote a book and talk about the Trump family. And she explained certain things. She went. But the world have been waiting for Fred to come out and talk about his own side. Like, obviously, the uncle, the only brothers are children. You're, you're going to know more better about them. So um, he came out and talked about his own side. And he, he was first quiet for a while. So but now he came out. He said, I've been quiet for long. Obviously, he wrote his own book and came out and talked his own side of the story. The women of the view, you know, they invite him. <laughs> Anything contained Donald Trump, you know, the women of the view. Anything that is against Donald Trump, they'll pick it up. Obviously, he knows the right platform to win, go to. So he went to the women in the view, they invited him. According to Fred, he will blame the father, the grandfather, which is President Donald Trump's father and President Donald Trump, for the father's alcoholic statue. Because he claims that the father was a very jovial person. The father was a wonderful person. And according to the father, they did not want him, the brother, to become a pilot. He was the there was a pilot and that's what the world was a dream he wanted to do so he went to pilot and became a pilot but president Donald Trump was not happy and president Donald Trump told him you're a glorified bus driver how can you become a glorified bus driver and the daddy was not happy at all so they claim that this man was married married though, and have a wife so the father still have influence over him. So the father talks about him. So that's how he became discouraged. That the father always supported President Donald Trump. And he became an alcoholic. So he claimed that he will blame the father for the you blame the grandfather for what how the grandfather how the father tend to be. That's his own opinion. What do you think? Do you believe that? That a man of a big man who is married with two children. His father still have influence over him to make him to become an alcoholic. Some people were arguing that I saw one come a person. Did their father come and open your mouth to drink the alcohol? What is he talking about? So sometimes people can affect you, which is true, parents especially. But for a grown up adult, it means he start all as a child not when he was adult. Maybe that's something that has been built that you cannot do better. Your brother can do better. Your brother can do better. And since he was the first child, they expect a lot from him. So that is why also. So looking at it, Fred came and said that President Donald Trump is the best uncle. He was the one who first taught him how to play golf. That he would say that when the father died, President Donald Trump was his trust and trusting. But he's no longer the trusting. That President Donald Trump was that one that would always call him, even during when he was the president. It's your favorite uncle. Happy hour. You want to wish you happy Christmas and New Year. New Year. Every New Year, President Donald Trump always call and keep that voice. So, President Donald Trump was a favorite uncle, according to him. So, but he don't know what happened. They asked him that it didn't happen. President Donald Trump have always been that if you don't win, you react. He said, yes. President Donald Trump have been that one that always be a go-getter. If you don't have his way, then there's trouble to everybody. He tried to explain that and they asked him about this um being the way he talks sometimes to black people. He said that yes, you remember when he was eleven, like ten, some three people stole his bicycle, one of the boys, and they took them to uh, to the police and his uncle wanted them to go to jail and President Donald Trump was just saying the boy must go to jail. But he claims that him as a young boy did not really want the child to go to jail because the child's life would just end like that. But the uncle was there talking, talking. Then he said that some years later, those three children that they say President Donald Trump put them to go to jail and they were even innocent. After many years, they discovered that they were innocent. One of them basically became the um, mayor in the New York day and came out once and was talking and wrote a book of his own experience that he had. I was just trying also to caution people to know the way they are behaving. Actually, what do you really think about this? 
do you also support Trump and Trump Fred Trump you see? That's why he said that. That's why he also said that he could, if he knew he could have come out a long time ago with this what he wrote because his family have been looked upon in a negative way, like they don't care for the disabled, like what the uncle was just saying. But to him personally, he has a child who is a disabled and the child is very precious and had a lot of wisdom. He's a wonderful person. So he cannot be insulting other people with their disability. So the world have just misunderstood all what their family stand for. Their family cannot stand against such things that their uncle is seeing. That is not part of their family. That is just a character trait that the uncle have. Because him as a family man, they have been able to help a lot of people with disability. And they have a lot of respect with people with disability. Obviously, he has a child. So why will he be marginalizing other people like that? So if he knew he could have come out with this book long time and explained to the world, let the world have a different way how they are looking at that family. What actually deleting? He's saying every family, there is one crazy uncle. And he believes his own uncle is President John who is crazy like that. And what do you think? Do you think all what Fred is saying is true? Some people say Fred is just coming out. They live in the house. Only your own family want to kill you. Fred is a very bad person. Why is Fred doing that to the uncle? Fred should stop all what he's doing. And Fred, that when people are not successful, somebody is successful. That's how they always come out to talk about the person who is successful in every family. Fred is just the devil in the family. Fred and Mary, because their father was not successful. Instead of go and work hard and become successful, all the sleep sit. They want to get the rich by President Donald Trump. Because calling President Donald Trump name, they say that you just have money. People will be supporting you. Or it's even his followers that we know for him and they became for him. That's what happened to them. President Donald Trump is not someone who is stable. He was first a report a Democrat. Then he turned to a Republican. What do they want to talk about President Donald Trump? Ah, uh, you that man should be quiet. Yeah, everybody was just saying their own. People have different opinion given. Some people were against Fred to come out and speak. He know less to be telling a lot of lies about the, you know President Donald Trump supporters. He talk about lies about his uncle. Fred stop that. Fred, you are you are not you are the man who is not even responsible. Fred, what are you talking about? You are a drunkard like your father. You have no vision like your father. Fred, just be quiet. Fred, Fred, Mary, <laughs> Mary, 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 Mary and Fred, you people should close your mouth. Go and sit down somewhere. President Donald Trump is a good man. He is a right man. Don't be blaming President Donald Trump for your father's downwardness. What are you talking about? You see, they won't make your father to be drinking like that. Did you open your father's mouth to drink? Did the grandfather open your father? Your father was just a failure. He was a child who did not want to do better. Just be praying that, ah, oh God. All type of thing on the comment section. People have different varieties. You as a person, what do you think? about all what Fred came out to say did. Let me see your opinion in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. If you are not subscribed, please help subscribe and help share the video. God bless you.